Alright, hey there Proxies, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. And in the previous episode, guys, we were just starting to make our way on over to our second trial challenge in Ula Ula. And uh, before we go and even take on the next challenge, we need to go and head on over to Acerola's uh, type of base type section. Uh, where, as you guys can see, that there's actually the checkpoint marker that is right down there. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing here for today. And, uh... Let's actually go into a little bit of a team recap just so that we can get ourselves all, all started out here And uh, let's just do a little bit of a quick summary So we got ourselves Vexen level 38 with hyper voice sparkly aura baby doll eyes and icy wind We also have big pop at level 30 with force palm belly drum smelly sauce and vile throw uh, Kylo over at level 31 with air cutter psychic torment and roost also have smirky at level 35 with bolt switch acrobatics butt slap and crunch we also have Gumball at level 31, our Drift Bomb with Psychic, Minimize, Ominous Wind, and Gust. And we also have Reptar, our brand new Pokemon on the team. And unfortunately, if you guys did miss out on the last episode, unfortunately we had to go and put away our man uh, Balboa into the PC box because I did want to go and actually use a fossil type Pokemon on the team because this was actually one thing that I don't think I've ever actually done even in the original Pokemon Sun Moon. And I never even realized that there was even fossils uh, even in Gen 7, and uh, yeah, apparently if you go to Kony Kony City, uh, you can actually go and speak to somebody, and she will actually give you a fossil, uh, any one fossil that you want uh, for uh, 7,000 Poké Dollars, and I got myself uh, the, Ty uh, the Tyrant, uh, so that we can get ourselves a ty uh, Tyantrum uh, later on when we uh, head up to level 40, which that's going to be nice, and right now we have Roar Stomp, Bite, and Stealth Rock, which that's not too bad, but later on we should be able to get ourselves Earthquake and some other pretty nice moves later on, which that's going to be very uh, nice and helpful out there. So let's just go and get quickly saved, and also let's go and buy us some posters and some revives, just so that we can get ready before we actually go and do anything else. So let's go and hop on right on into here. Now, if you guys did not see, uh, well, actually, hopefully you guys are going to be watching uh, this episode of the Paper Mario and the Origami King because there's some exciting things that are going to be uh, going down here uh, for Paper Mario and the Origami King is because we are going to be taking on our very first red streamer boss. Now, I'm not going to say if we actually won or anything yet, uh, but uh, hopefully you guys do go and check that out. Uh, so let's go actually grab some revives and other things because I would like to get prepared for that. Uh, I think six hyper potions should be alright. And then we can also grab some revives as well too. Yeah, I think two revives should do us just fine. And let's also get out an ultra ball as well just so that, I don't know. Just so that we can have some balls along here. Just so that if we ever do run on into uh, the Necrozma at some point. Uh, the, the, the combination of Necrozma uh, with both the Solgaleo or Lunala. Uh, I would like to actually have some Pokeballs on the uh, on the side. Just so that I can have some extra, extra, uh, some extra ones. Now, uh, that looks like probably a side quest battle. I don't really need to worry about you either. So everything looks fine. I don't think there's really any battles yet. We haven't really uh, used our Lapras out on the water yet, which we should probably go out and do some exploring. But I'm going to wait until we actually get ourselves the Sharpedo, because I think there's actually some rocks that we can go and bust down and uh, explore a little bit more down there. So I'm going to hold off on that side for right now. So wait up, Prox. So this is the Acer House, eh? So strangers. Uh, this means battle. What? Why? Well, we'll protect our home when Acer Roll is away. Oh man, okay, so here we go. We're gonna get ourselves right into the battle section out here right now. But this guy doesn't seem all that too, uh, too powerful. An LA kid? Okay, that shouldn't be all that bad either. I think a nice good sparkly aura should be able to knock this guy out. It's not Electivuzz or Electivire or anything, so I think we're okay. No, maybe... Let's go and just Oko this thing. Let's just do a nice good old, uh, Hydro Vortex right here. Just destroy it entirely. Man, there's somebody outside out there playing some very big loud music that's going on. Alright, I think I officially stopped. Alright, here we go. Let's go and destroy this Heli Kid. See you later, dude. I wonder what the other trainer has. Maybe she has a Megby. Which, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this on Twitter yet, but I have been thinking about making a new profile pic, uh, for my YouTube channel, and, uh, 
I don't know if you guys have ever seen it yet, but I think I posted already on Twitter. Uh, so if you guys ever do have anything that you guys want to say, or uh, if you guys want me to change out on anything, or uh, make make a different profile pic instead of that one, just let me know on Twitter or whatever. But I think I kind of like it, because uh, I actually... Uh, for me personally, I, I, I'm kind of a big uh, Ma uh, Magmar fan. And uh, so that's why I kind of had Magmar as kind of like my mascot. Uh, for this channel. I know that originally uh, my mascot used to be a Mega Bayonet and that used to be a thing throughout uh, 2017 uh, for a little while, but Oh, what do you think you're doing? Stop it right now. Oh, man. Got some more Team Skull Grunt shenanigans. What are these guys up to? So if you guys have some more rare Pokemon in here, I'm gonna have to take it and make it some cash. Even if that's not a rare Pokemon, I bet that I could get, still get paid, yo. Man, these people really want these uh, this Cosmog, though. You still, you guys are not gonna even learn your lesson. Oh, so we're following that script, are we? Trade justice for it to save the girl, huh? I'm not gonna uh, let you be the hero in this scene. Man, what is with everybody trying to battle us? First of all, we come into this random building, and then they want to go and battle us, and then all of a sudden now we're trying to protect Lily, and this Team Skull Girl wants to battle us out here too. All right, well you asked for it, dude. Oh, so you have the drowsy, huh? Well, you know what? We actually have the man himself, Sparky, that has the crunch move, so that should actually do quite a bit of damage on this guy. Oh, has Forsworn. Eh. It's fine. Man, the music is back again. Jesus, it's like vibrating the whole, whole entire place in my house. I don't know if you guys hear that in the background or anything, but, like, it's pretty loud. <laughs> I guess somebody's having like a big huge party out here, which they shouldn't be doing that because uh, due to the whole uh, pandemic and everything that's going on, they shouldn't be having parties outside there. Well, let's go and uh, do another, oh man, this guy set up for another meditate, huh? This man wants to just power up all of his attacks, but you know what, it's not, that's not going to happen. You're going to get bit right here. Nice. I can't wait till we get ourselves the, uh, the Dark Z Crystal. That should be uh, a little bit helpful out here for when we uh, become a Viki Volt and everything. So uh, this result, uh, what's up with that? Uh, so nice, we got some extra dough right there. So when I saw that adorable drowsy, that was enough for me later. Yeah, I run away like a coward, dude. So thank you, Prox. Just wanted you for a stroll on my own to see what it must feel like to be like a trainer. So Abu and I went to... Uh, uh, our separate ways, and uh, but then Nevi tried to get in uh, out of my bag. Uh, didn't you uh, go on, you uh, little troublemaker? Uh, you better th uh, think Prox too. Well, no problem. Oh, and uh, when I was out shopping, I kept thinking about how I wanted some help uh, to you during your island challenge. But when I saw these, hey, luxury balls. Okay, I'll take those. But I don't really have any Pokemon that are like friendship or anything, so that's not gonna really be any good though so what's the matter you all look uh, worn out do you want to rest at the aether house for a while oh he's a roller thank you i think i might take a, uh, take you up on that but we also have her trial challenge coming on so tapu village huh i guess that's what we should probably be heading on out here too maybe i don't know i'm just gonna go head on over to the trial challenge i know that i think uh there's actually i think there is an actual tapu here in this place though but that's not gonna happen for a little while. So the old supermarket where I hold my trial is right down this way, Route 14. Now I don't know if we're gonna be meeting up Grizzly here like right away, or we actually have to wait like after uh, after the whole shopping trial challenge that happens afterwards. I'm not too entirely sure on how that works. Well, it is dark time out here. I didn't really get to see this place in dark time yet. It's so strange because I remember when this game was coming out. It's like it's like it has like a different time difference. So if you're playing like Ultra Sun, like the nighttime actually happens a lot uh, later, and then if you play Ultra Moon, the sun actually comes out a lot later. So right now it's dark time out here. I don't know if that's just because of the rain, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, this guy's a trainer. He wants to go out and battle, don't, doesn't he? Got some Murkrows, uh, but let me go and pick up your totem piece here. Nice, you have 30. 
All right, let's go take this guy on. He seems like he wants to go and out here for a battle. I'm ready for anything, dude. So this guy's a collector. Wow, you call yourself a collector and you only have one Pokemon out here, and it's a Larvitar. Ooh. So this collector is trying to become a, a, a pseudo legendary type person. I don't think you could even find Larvitars anywhere in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I could be wrong. But if anybody knows if you can like find a Larvitar in Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, let me know. Because I would like to probably find one if there is. Maybe it could be in Pony Island. I don't know. I'm not too entirely sure because I don't think I've ever seen a Larvitar there. Because that's like only one place I could probably think where a Larvitar could probably be located is at P Pony Island because it's like all rocky formations there. Sandy Gas. Okay, so that's another little side quest mission. I'm not going to really worry about that all that too much right now. Got ourselves a Master of Bible. Take that. Thank you very much. Because I know that we are going to be battling out that totem, uh, Mimikyu, and I think that's like an actual permanent Pokemon. I don't think there's nothing like... I don't think there's two different Pokemon here. So, Tyler's Flight Cub Prox. I guess I should explain what kind of trial this is, huh? This old building is full of a lot of ghost-type Pokemon, did you know? And here's where my trial part comes in. You gotta find all the totem Pokemon of this site and snapshot of it in with the Pokefiner. The Tome is a bit of a trickster, but it likes to play hide and seek and mess around. So if you take pictures with the other ghost types, Pokemon inside, it'll definitely come out and get in the fun and have its photo take it too. So if you see something weird happening inside this place, try to check it out. I bet you'll find some ghost type Pokemon causing this some mischief, so go get its photo before it's gone. So I'll just borrow your Poke Finder for a sec. And your Rotom is a ghost type too. Which it is. So we just do this. So I'll just set up the special shooting mode for this trial. You'll be able to use it at your site though. So as you as you enter the building, your trial will begin. Got it? So don't catch any of the Pokemon either. And you can't leave without giving up so, uh, too. So make sure that you're ready for anything. Which I am. I did buy out some Hyper Posters, some Master Vibes, which we already did from before. And uh, it doesn't really seem like there's anything else to be here. So let's just go make our way in. Our Pokemon are basically healed up. I know that they are a little bit injured. From some of the battles that we did, but let's just go hopping on right on into here though. Here we go. The shopping mall. Oh yeah, I love this trial so much. This trial is like super unique. So we just have to go and try and uh should I set up a super repel? I think we actually have one. Because I think I found one before. Um, let me see here. Yes, we do have repels. Thank you. I would like to have those on because I know that there's going to be a lot of annoying Gengars and Haunters around here, so. Oh, the conveyor belt started moving. Well, actually, before we go and do anything, let me actually bring out uh, Sparky out here because he has the, uh, the crunch attack, so I'm going to make sure to do some stuff with that. So there's a movable cart out here, so let's go and set up the Poke Finder, yes. And let's see what we got here. So we just move around with our C stick. Now this is gonna be a little bit hard to see. So you wanna get a clo uh, you wanna close the no no. There you are, hey, they're ghastly. I love how like in each of the different sections here though, inside the mall, that you have all of the different uh ghastly brothers. Cause I remember um if, if, if you guys have ever watched the old school Pokemon anime, uh, which I have, and uh, I have like the full uh, VHS copy of, of all the uh, of the old school Pokemon. I think I have all the VH classics from I think from season one Pokemon and also Johto Journeys, which I have. And those are the only two full collections that I have of the old school Pokemon anime. But I remember um, in one episode, I think what was it like in Lavender Town, they went to like some sort of like castle or whatever, and. Uh, and Ash like supposedly died or whatever uh, during inside like the castle and uh, and like they and he was like hanging out with the whole like Ghastly brothers and every like the whole like Gengar brothers and whatever like that was pretty cool and I think that's how he got Haunter I think from that too I think that's how that happened oh uh, let's actually forget about Roar we don't really need that. And there we go, we got ourselves Bite, so that's pretty nice. But we can't really- oh, so it was a Pikachu all this time, hmm. Alright, onwards to the next one. 
What else do we got here? A rattly shopping cart. Well, we do have our repel still on, so let's go see what this is all about. Let me guess. This is going to be the Haunter. You guys are always like... Oh. There we go. Now I got you. Alright, let's do this battle. Let's get this guy quickly underway. Now this Haunter may be a little bit tricky. Because I know that his defenses are a little bit hard. But I think Rex should still knock him out. But what I am a little bit afraid, though, is the whole Mimikyu fight. It, it, yeah, it's the whole Mimikyu fight. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock this guy out or not. Alright, now the last one. Oh man, this Pikachu just loves causing a ruckus in here, doesn't it? Alright, let's just go and head on over to the uh, other section. There should be one more rattle somewhere. Oh man, this Gengar is causing these uh, plush toys to fly up around in here, so let's go and uh, put a stop to this. Yes, let's fire up the Pokey Finder. Alright, Gengar, where are you? What? Is there a Mimikyu somewhere? Where are you? Oh, don't... Oh, there you are. Hey, Gengar. I just hear, like, random background sounds coming, and I thought there was, like, a Mimikyu, but nope, there's the Gengar. Man, I really wish that I was able to go and pressure out this guy here. I think you can actually find a Gengar, actually, in this place, if you aren't lucky enough. Shadow Punch? Eh, is that gonna do some damage? Not a lot. And that should take care of- Oh, that almost did. Don't be putting me to sleep, dude. Whatever you do. Oh my god, this man has some Shadow Ball. That's gonna do some damage. Ouch. Okay. Well, not to worry, we are set. You're good. Gengar's down. Good job there. Alright, and I may probably have to call this apart here, guys. So unfortunately, we're going to be taking care of Mimikyu in the next episode. I don't think we really have enough time to do everything that I would like to do here. So guys, I'm going to end off this episode here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will go and take care of Mimikyu. So don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the show if you're new. And I guess the comment question of the day would probably have to be is, um... I don't know. Um... I can't really think one... Uh, yeah, I can't really think of one off the top of my head, but, um... It should be in the layout, and uh, anyways, I'll see you guys then uh, for when we actually go and take care of our trial challenge uh, here for the Mini Q fight, and I'll see you guys then, and peace.